Hi, this is Dr. Tony Kovacs at Sound Relief Hearing Center in Fort Collins, Colorado. And in this video, we're going to cover how to clean your Starkey behind the ear device. So the first thing that I like to do is brush out the microphone ports. The microphones are actually underneath the spine here. So if you take a, a little brush, now you may have been given one of these with your devices, or if not, you can just buy a cheap toothbrush that you use only for your devices. And I would just brush along the spine a little bit just to clear away any debris that may be in those microphone ports. Then the next thing we're gonna do is take off the dome. The dome is the part that actually sticks in your ear. Now, you may or may not have this extra wire hanging off here. If you do, you might wanna just kinda of pull it down a little bit and get it a little bit out of the way. And the way that I take this dome off is I like to put my fingertip right on the tip of the dome, and then I work a thumb underneath this material here. So with my pincher fingers, I have the tip of my finger on the tip and my thumb under this, grab as much material as possible and just pull it right off. So here at Sound Relief, we use audio wipes, which are specifically designed for devices. If you're in a pinch, you can use an alcohol prep wipe, but it is recommended that you use audio wipes if possible. They're just designed specifically for electronics. So I just wipe this whole thing down. I also want to clean this dome. So with my audio wipe or alcohol prep wipe, I'm going to go ahead and put that dome directly into the wipe and then just mash it around with my fingers a little bit to clean out any wax that has accumulated within the dome. Now underneath that dome, there's this white piece here. That white piece is called the wax filter. This is the speaker, the part that goes in your ear, and the wax filter is protecting the speaker. You don't want earwax getting into the speaker because it'll gunk it up and it won't sound as good. So occasionally we need to change that wax filter. So the way that we do that, there are these little orange sticks. So you take one of these orange sticks and you notice that on one side there's a little white piece. That is a new wax filter. Yet on the other side, it's empty. So we're gonna take that empty side and we're gonna stick it directly into the end of the device. And you can actually turn it in like a screw. And if you've done it correctly, it'll stick right in there. Go ahead and pull that out, pull them apart, and see it took that wax filter with it. This is the old wax filter. So what you wanna do is turn this around and we're gonna put the new wax filter directly in there and release. The next thing we'll do is take the dome and we wanna hold it so that we can see the underside of it. Can you see that grommet there? The end of this is gonna go directly back into that grommet. So what we'll do is line this up and you're just gonna wedge it right onto there. And if you've wedged it on correctly, you should be able to give a slight tug just to make sure that it's not gonna pop off into your ear canal. You wanna make sure that that's on nice and firm. We recommend that you do this approximately once a month or for general troubleshooting. If your devices are not working or one of your devices is not working, chances are it's either the battery or the wax filter. So if you need help with either of those things, please give us a call. Have a great day. Thanks.